Okay, welcome to ETN News. We're looking at the earthquakes, and we got some over here around Mauna Kea on, in Hawaii on the island. But these two here are 22, it's a 2.3 and a 3.2. But that's 21 miles deep and 22.2 miles deep. Got these over here that isn't down in the chambers. These are in the chambers. And all these are in the chambers. Let me check this one here. That one is. That's in the chambers too. These here are not in the chambers. Like this one's a 2.2, 3.7 miles deep. And a 3.4, 4.5 miles deep. All these out here. 27, 21, from 19 to in the 20s. Except for this one. I forgot about this one. This is a minus 0 0.2 earthquake, 1.8. That's right at the surface. It's above sea level, put it that way. All right, now Alaska. We haven't got too much going on in Alaska. It's always got a little bit of activity down here. You zoom in, it scatters out. The largest quake was a 3.5. Not nothing significant. And then down here now, we got one at Mount Rainier. A 2.0 north northeast of Ashford, Washington, 4.5 miles deep. Then around Mount St. Helens, 3.0 north northeast of Amboy, Washington, 6.8 miles deep. Then we got the swarm over here at Yellowstone. We're just looking for a big quake to take off from here, which I think it already has. I think it's heading around the plate to the other side of the Pacific plate. But we'll have to go look at this, Washington. Well, what I meant was Mount St. Helens. This is Mount St. Helens. Now, we're going to take this and get it to go here. All right. This is from 92 up. Now, you can see this. Watch this part here in the middle of Mount St. Helens, just in case if you have, haven't seen this. I've showed it a few times on my channel. Now, they say that nothing's been going on through the years. This is 2013, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right there is 21, 22. Okay, right there is 84 on up. Let you watch it again. Watch this, how it rises uplift and spills over every year now the other eruption what was the 87 or let me see let me see how far this one goes back it'll click back here in a moment 84 right after the eruption this is what started occurring and that's going through the 90s and now the 2000 year 2000 on up two thousand and fourteen nineteen twenty twenty two that's as far as it goes didn't show this year past not yet it will it'll you know it will show it but we have to wait on it all right we just got to be ready for an eruption because this is the only volcano that has really shown a big difference. I mean, we got a couple more on the map that's been showing signs and, well, a few more. Mount St. Helens is the only one that's been uplifting and running over. That's concerning. It really is. Then we got Yellowstone over here. We got two separate swarms. We had the one earthquake and some aftershocks. And now we got this one. They raised that from a 3.1 to a 3.3 at Yellowstone after I did the update on it. Now let's go over here and see what we got at Yellowstone. Crowfoot Ridge, right down south from that. And here's Roy Mountain. And Purple Mountain. Okay, it's north of Purple Mountain, Madison River. This one down here was the ones we had yesterday and had the aftershocks. That's the one they raised up 
to a 3.3 and that was west of Murray Mountain now here's the lakes okay let's go check out some more earthquakes Canada let's see what they're reporting 1.9 3.0 1.5 and a 2.1 so nothing significant 2.0 and a 2.2 okay the rest of these like uh, near Seattle Washington reported shaking I don't know if you felt that or not if you're over that way but it looks like a looks like about a three point something earthquake to me I mean, it's awful big on the circle that they show. Let's go on over here and check these out. Okay, we well looked at Hawaii. Now, over here, 2.5 northeast of Stanley, Idaho. 2.5 northwest of Cedar Point, Kansas. And let me, let me talk about something here. The Craton. So many people talk about the craton. They go around it. They won't hit in the craton. They go around it. Well, no, the craton comes right down through here. And if it was going all the way around it, I mean, we'd see earthquakes down in Florida too. But the craton goes around and up through here. So when it goes goes like that, what's this here? A 2.5 northwest of Cedar Point, Kansas. The major, we get earthquakes up in North Dakota. We get them in South Dakota. The craton means that is that's the first piece of land that was sitting there when all this other stuff come in here and started going in continents meeting together and forming the United States. That's what the craton is. It's over a million. I mean, it's over a million square miles big and it's a solid rock and it goes for uh, it goes for miles and miles it depends on and up like northern montana i think that you can see some of the craton but we got all earthquakes going through here everywhere that is just shows that in so many million years that it hasn't had any activity significant on the craton you do have earthquakes in the craton. It doesn't have anything to do with that. Just let you know that. It's just, you know, it's the oldest thing. We've had activity everywhere but that area on eruptions. And the craton is from a volcanic eruption. Millions of years ago. Anyway, over here, Tonga was looking for that 7.0 and greater. It should hit any time now, which I'm seeing a lot spreading out, but I still don't, I still think it's still going to be a 7 plus. 5.6 around Tonga, 116.8 miles deep. Now we're looking at the mileage on how deep they are. 345, I mean 346.1 miles deep. That's a 4.5. A 4.6 around Fiji, 352. 0.3 miles deep. Now that's some deep quakes right there. These two 70s and 90s. And over here in Indonesia, 190.6 miles deep. And then we got one up here, I think. All the way up here. I forgot which one that was. 124.2 miles deep. All these other ones are different. They're not that deep. So we're looking at how deep those quakes are. Nothing over here. I've done searched all of these. Nothing over here is that deep. This one's 81.2 miles, 42.6 miles, I think, 22.5 miles, and 39.1. These are deep, so it's got to come up somewhere. We could see the large earthquake on this side. May even see one on both sides. I mean, we're getting a lot of activity here lately. Now, let's look at the fire map. This is La Palma. 
it was out the other night it quit showing but no heat now we got the heat except for it's a little bit south from where the other one was located we always go by this print and when we had that eruption over there it made a new volcano right here it was a fissure but I think it now it's a volcano just smaller than the big one all right here's our we got a storm going through here now you can go on the map and look at that it's a storm so that's the reason you can't see it all but here's the anomaly down through Florida and right down into Texas coming across got storms over here you can see a small spot right here these are different and this one I know you can tell the difference in the color that's anomalies not fires and here I'll show you what the fires look like okay here's the fires now here's the storms we got it coming down through here fog low cloud we got snow and everything coming down to New toward New York and I believe it's coming on up toward us West Virginia now this one here is a fire 716,786 acres and it says being held so they must be holding it back, you know, from burning more. But it would have to go out, wouldn't it? Because it wouldn't have nothing else to burn. Okay, this one over here, 71,248 71, acres. See, these are fires. Big fires. 23,000 acres. And then we got 25,000, 35,000, 29, 26. I mean, these are huge. But there's where all that heat, you can see the heat on the fire map. Got two over here in Australia, 13,591 and 342,374 acres, Duck Creek. That's a big forest fire. I hope everyone's safe over there. But the only one showing up in here is Canada. And it says being held. I don't know if that's the name of the place. It may be the name. Well, I know because I don't know much about that up there on the names. Okay, you can see this here. South America. Let's go back over here. South America. I mean, not South America, but Africa. Okay, Africa. Look at all this heat coming across. And it's not fires. Over here's the fires. So all that heat is causing fires. That's what it's doing. But that's a lot of heat. And there's South America. It's not showing any fires. Not big ones on the fire map. But you can uh, take it down to 100 acres or so, and maybe see a couple fires, a few more than what we've seen, but not nothing. I mean that that was that is anomalies that's going across the U.S., North America. There's Australia, pretty good lot. It's heated up. Okay, I'll see you all in the next updates. Let's see what this is first before I even take off. Okay, that's the workplace over here. And this is the fissures that's going or the volcano. Alright, everybody stay safe and we'll be watching.